Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can create captions like Devon Jetho in Framemate Pro. So let's get started. First, I will just bring in this image to the time uh, this video to the timeline i will provide it in the description if you want to practice on this now in this video i will be using a text preset i got from instagram i will just show you the creator name it's suviash mp4 i will just provide the link of his instagram or any handle in the description you can check that out and also the preset will be in the description below so let's get started but first i will just simply bring it here so this is the template i just using and i will just show you how you can use and edit these captions and also animate it also i will be providing you uh, these text presets as well i have 500 text presets i will just provide the video link in the description so you can download it from them here now first i will just show you this is the transcription i create so i will just simply copy this and so i don't have to type it again and again and once this is copied i will just go to the property section and if you see here there are two sections uh, like this one top and bottom so for now we will just need one so i will just start with the white color first i will just delete the second color and it will be like this and now i can just simply paste it like this so this will be the text you can just simply go in the font section as well and you can choose the font you like i will go with this one if you want to the, I, I mostly use this font you can use this one as well and uh, this is looking also cooler now if we see we can just simply use this as well you can see this is the font i will just go and i will choose another one this is looking cooler and now uh, we will just make another text here and i will just go so ladies and gentlemen i will just copy this first i will just copy this so word too and i will paste it on the one line like this and now i will just simply go to this transcription and i will copy ladies and gentlemen so in this video i won't be creating all the text i will just be showing you how you can create certain and you can just simply follow along and you can complete your own video as well and i will provide this video if you want to follow along and you can just practice it so i have made a copy of this i will read the white text and now in the second section i will paste this and in the font section we can just simply if you want to you can choose the same font as well so if we see the font in the first text it's jersey so i will just make sure to go here and i will just type in so this is the text i you can see i will just make sure to uh, like this so from here you can just simply make sure to use scale and position properties to animate it so what i will be doing i will just show you two or three random uh, animations that you can use as well so now starting with the position one you can add a position keyframe and move this as our final position this will be the end of our animation and at the start i can just simply bring it here and you can just simply make sure to uh, select both keyframes and ease in All so right, it will be giving us this animation Perfect so you can just simply i will just audio and do you can you choose this smoothify plugin as well if you want to so for this you will have to just go to the middle of the keyframes then go to the smoothify plugin and if you want to you can just use this smooth graph as well and if you want you can just simply make the graph to something like this and then simply just hit on this play button it will not you can see it has already given us keyframes like this it is very smoother and you can just simply make sure to ease in the hole as well this is the smooth one and you can see uh, if we see the graphs you can just simply bring these graphs here it will start if we bring this here it will start fast and then it will gradually become slow and if i make it here it will start slow and then it will move to the end and it will be fast so i will just move it here as so of now i have I can add a position keyframe at the end of this and at the start I can bring this to the other side as well so it will be giving us this animation I can just simply bring it and then just ease in and now for this one too I can just simply make the graph to something like this make sure it's in the middle and in the smoothify you can just hit this and like this you can just simply see you can create captions like this now if we move forward I will just simply copy these two texts right here and if we see we can welcome to nexus so this is an important line i will just copy it and 
I will bring this white duck next and I will bring it here and in the property section I will just replace it and from here you can also change the text color as well so for this one I will just choose a orange color like this as you can see you can change the color to wherever you want and in the effects control I will disable this position keyframe and if we see now this is the important line welcome to nexus so i will just make it bigger and place it here now i can just simply create an opacity keyframe then move a few frames and i will bring it to three or something like this and I, then i can bring it to 100 and now i will just copy these keyframes and simply paste them like this so it will be giving us this flickering text animation you can just simply uh, ease in these keyframes as well and in the graph section you can adjust the graphs as well if you want to or you can again use smoothify here as well so this is a uh, one way to animate this and now next i will just show you the gaussian blur method this is the mostly used i will apply the gaussian blur to this layer go to effects control i will delete the opacity and i will add a blurness keyframe and an opacity keyframe like this and also add a position keyframe now I will just go move all these keyframes here and at the start I will just simply make it a bit downwards and then I will make the opacity to zero and I will increase the blurness to something like 20 and I can just simply make it to zero so you can see it will be giving us this animation you can just simply select all these keyframes and then simply just hit on ease in and uh, I can just simply copy these keyframes and bring them forward like you can see and it will be giving us this animation now if we move next next is the link between so I will just make this line copy it and I can just simply like this so I will just move it here go back to properties and in the white section I will just make it like this you can change the color of this if you want to and if you want a stylish font you can just simply make sure to use a stylish font like this one and I will just delete these so I will just move it here for example like this so this is a big text so I will just link and I will delete this one and next is, is between I will choose this and I will use the scale properties to scale it up do something like this now for this one i will be using the presets i just show you so i will just move here these 500 text presets and i can simply just move on to cinematic in section and you can choose any one to i will just go with this one you can see it will be giving us this animation you can just simply go in these properties and if you want to disable any certain effect you can do that as well and if you want and now moving next you can just simply uh, make sure to click these arrows right here and you can adjust the speed of these animations as well by selecting all these keyframes like this and then you can simply just move them closer so it will be make the animation slower faster so now next i will just make a copy of this one and I can show you one more animation too. So this is the one. I will disable the position keyframes. And in the effect section, I can just scroll down as well. Or I can use the slide animation. The in animation is the starting animation. The out animation is the animation with the, our text ends. So I will just bring these right here. Go to effects control. And you can see it is really giving us this animation. This is very useful animation. I mostly use this in my videos as well. And you can just simply scroll down and select all these keyframes like this. Uh, to quickly select this, you can hold control and make sure to move these wheel up mouse one. And you can just select it. Make sure you are holding the control button. So I will just make sure. And you can select all these now. And you can just simply bring these closer as well and you can if you want to select one keyframe you can just simply bring this down as well and you can hold control to make sure all the layers selected and you can just bring these forward and so this will make the animation more um, faster so that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye